Okay, guys, good evening again, and welcome everybody to the webinar this evening. Uh, as you can see there, we've got Geraldine Finnegan uh, sitting here in the wings. She'll be on shortly, and Joe is going to jump on. He's a little bit delayed, so he's going to jump on in uh, a few minutes. But it's uh, fantastic to have Geraldine uh, with us here this evening because she's a very popular lady, and she's not that easy to get because she's busy, 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 and I've put up some nice photographs here showing Geraldine and all the things she does, and I was tired by the time I was end, finished putting up the photographs, guys. I don't know how she has any energy to do all this. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about this evening, um, you know, uh, how to keep your body in good shape, and no better woman than Geraldine to, uh, to do that. I mean, look at that photograph over there. She looks amazing. But just while we're getting started. If you do have questions, guys, uh, we'll take some questions at the end, so you can either put your hand up or you can type in the questions and I'll read them out uh, towards the end. So, um, as I say, Joe will be on in a few minutes, but just to give you a little bit of information about Geraldine, uh, and I'm just going to flick, and you can see there she's just so got so many um, medals and she's won so much and um, she's an incredible incredible athlete uh, I know she's not going to mind me saying she's 52 years of age because she'll tell you that herself and we'll ask her some questions now in a few minutes but she has competed in 14 different types of events over the years guys so Geraldine actually understands how your body works probably more than most athletes do because they might just concentrate on one event or two events but Geraldine actually uh, competes in so many different types of events and you can see some of them listed there um, that it's just you know she must know every single muscle and in your body and what to do how to train how to exercise them I mean when she's when she's not competing around the world she's she's a nutritionist herself uh, she's a physiotherapist and she's a personal trainer and coach. I know she coaches people uh, anywhere between the age of 8 and 80. And she even coaches people who uh, go to the Olympics, guys. So um, she's, she's a vast experience in, in the whole area of sport. And I know I, I actually met Geraldine uh, last week. I called up to her house. Uh, we sat down and we had a long chat. She made me a beautiful lunch. Um, Actually, her friend Cole made me a very nice lunch. Thank you, Cole. Um, but I, she even told me that she was coaching a lady uh, who's competing uh, in competitions with MS. And Geraldine will probably um, tell you a little bit more about that uh, as we go through the, the webinar. Um, but there's uh, her latest achievement. She has been... Uh, listed as the most improved Masters athlete in the world. Now, that is an incredible um, achievement, guys. Uh, she is the most improved Masters, and Masters means anyone over 35. So um, to, to achieve this is just, I think, amazing. And I don't know how, as I say, look at her there jumping over that bar. Uh, I don't know how you do it, Geraldine. Um, uh, but in this, you know, this this... Uh, achievement that she won there's actually over 15,000 athletes registered so it's a huge achievement and just so you can see it for yourselves guys there is the world masters ranking for 2017 and you can see there in the corner that Geraldine Finnegan is number one um, and congratulations Geraldine uh, that's just an amazing achievement for you so Hi. thank you <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bring you on. I know this is probably a picture of you when you were a little bit younger, um, but obviously people are going to want to know uh, what age were you when you actually started uh, competing or started, uh, you know, doing anything at all? When did you start? Like, were you 2 or 12 or 20 or, you know, I'll give the floor to you. <laughs> Thanks for that lovely introduction. <laughs> a wonderful one. I was 14 when I started, and I started um, by accident uh, with my sister, and we just did cross country, which in Ireland was, was the big thing then. We didn't have many tracks, so I started competing every Sunday and trained twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I was, I see, my first medal was when I was about 18. It was a very slow progression, but when I did win my first Leinster uh, Championship, it was. Uh, over 400 meters 
I got a bronze medal there. Uh, since then, I, obviously, <laughs> I haven't stopped. So it was a uh, it was um, a lucky start, and I started in Dundalk in in County Louth, the smallest county in Ireland. I still compete for, for County Louth, and uh, I live in County Down, and I, I represent Ireland, as you can see, in the Irish colours. And I, I now do uh, fourteen different events. I know it's hard actually, to imagine. Actually, that was going to be my next question. What, what events do you compete in? Because I know there's so many of them. And you can see some pictures here of you, but you, I'll let you talk as I flick through the pictures. I, I do. And you see the javelin, and I do a shot put for discus. And I do high jump, long jump, triple jump. I do all of the hurdle events, 60 meters, 80 meters. There's 200 meters, and 300 meters, and a 400 meter hurdles. Uh, I, that's the 800 meters you're seeing there. I do the 800 meters, 1500 meters, and 3000 meters. And I do the 400 flat. And I do the 2000 meter steeplechase. And I do the pole vault. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how, how do you get the energy to do all that? I mean, how many events? I remember all the events that I do myself. What was the first uh, world medal that you actually won? What was like, you know? Well, I suppose I have to say that was probably my favourite one because it was a world title, and I, I, once it, you get on the world scene and you realise you've made it to, to being a world champion, it, it gets a little bit easier because the confidence comes in, and you, you've done it once. It's easier to replicate, and it's the same in life. You know, once you're healthy, it's easy to stay there. It, it was in Zingelfingen in Germany, and I was. Uh, almost 38 when I won the first world title, and it was in the um, javelin. What one of my favourite events? Wow. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just looking at pictures here of you running and jumping and throwing the javelin and doing all kinds of things, and it's just unbelievable. Um, what would you say is your, you know, um, I know, I know you did really well this year in Korea. Um, you took some world titles there in Korea this year. And I'm sure that was a, a big event and a big um, achievement for you. And I'm sure you're very proud of that. Yeah. So, that, 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 yeah, I'll tell you all about that. It was in South Korea, which is a 30-hour flight to um, to South Korea. And, and with all the troubles in that area, it, it, it's quite a, it was quite a, a frightening experience to go that far away from Ireland. And um, that in itself was a feat, and then I did I, I did six or six events, and I had heats and semi-finals and finals, so I had to run fourteen events, and um, I, I came home with six medals. I got a gold, two silver, and a uh, three silver and two bronze. Uh, that was the most medals uh, any Irish athlete um, has won, and any athlete won at the games. Uh, I didn't do any relay events, which would have been easier to do, but it was six individual medals. And um, that's probably the, the best uh, that I have done in, in, in many years. Okay, I know when I spoke to you um, earlier in the year, you had won 3,000 and something medals, but I think now you've nearly got 4,000 medals. Is that right? I mean, we wouldn't yeah. be able to show all the medals you've won, but there's a selection of them. Yeah, I've, I've, I've lost count. Uh, people keep asking me how many because I keep losing count. And I usually give them to some of the children to motivate them. I've stopped giving them away because they get a bit more precious as you get older. But um, the, the the world championship medals are, are usually the larger ones, and the, um, the the Leinster medals are the ones with a little harp on them. And, and the smallest medals, believe it or not, are, are the All Ireland Championships, which are not quite precious now. I've I've an All American game, so this one's there from Australia and from from Denmark. Um, I think I've travelled the world three times over, so it's a nice pastime and a lovely way to see the world, a lovely healthy way to see the world, running and jumping and hopping. I'm actually looking at the dates on two of the medals there, I can see 2004 and then 2017, I mean that's an incredible length of time and I know you go back further than that to have been winning medals, but I think you've been winning for, is it 20 or 30 years or something like that, I mean you're, you're still winning, it's, it's just unbelievable. 34 years and still winning. Uh, the, 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 the German medal there with the German flag on was 2004, and that was the first world title that I got from Zingelfingen. If you see it in the in the picture with the yellow and the red and the black, 
uh, that was the first world and and then the recent one is the big gold one at the front from from Korea South Korea in Daegu and that was in March of this year and the one beside it it was in New Zealand I was in New Zealand in Auckland this year as well in outdoor world masters games so yeah it, it, there's a, an array of 34 years of competing and winning and um, at world world championship level I've done over 20 years and still winning so it, it, it it's quite a feat to keep winning and to stay healthy and fit and I suppose that's where uh, natural health trends comes into place because I couldn't stay healthy and fit unless I had a balanced regime and supplementation in my diet. And I suppose that's probably a big question that everybody wants to hear tonight on this webinar. Um, what supplements you take, how you take them, uh, you know, uh, how you find them and you're, as I say, you're the expert on that. So. I know you're big into restore, renew and rejuvenate and as you're still winning after 30 years I'll pass this back to you and you can uh, talk about the importance of nutrition, the importance of delaying aging, um, you know I know you've said uh, don't wait for you know the the pains and, and the aches to start, you can you can prevent them coming so Geraldine I'll, I'll hand that back to you there now. Well hi I'm a nutritionist just to let people know and I'm an exercise specialist so having all that background information and because I've done physiotherapy I know how the body works and I studied sports science and the science behind how we need energy and what we need because if you don't have a balanced diet you won't have the energy to do the things that you want to do whether it's just gardening or playing golf you need to have the energy in so I start my day with a small capsule or a drink Caps, a cap size of the noni drink and it's a blue bottle in the picture with it's like a pineapple -y taste and it's very refreshing especially kept in your refrigerator I never take any supplements um, on an empty stomach and I wouldn't recommend that because of the acid that it can create so along with a balanced breakfast you know perhaps eggs you know some spinach and some goat's cheese I take in the morning time two capsules of omega-3-6-9 which is the green uh, bottle in the picture on the left and the omega I recommend people to take from very early as you know, a child children can take it so if I have athletes at eight I would be recommending them to take their omegas not just for the joints because to lubricate the joints means that you can move more fluently and that's what we'd all like to do but it also helps your hair, your skin, your nails, the backs of the eyes, the heart, I, the list goes on. And when I'm on the subject of taking the Omega, it, the, we can always buy a cheaper product no matter where in the world you'll get something cheaper, India, China, <laughs> that we won't advertise. But this product has quality oil in it, it's a great taste, you can open up the capsule and just swallow the capsule whole or the oil whole and I recommend to take two in the morning time although one would be enough if you if you're a small child starting off to take tablets or supplements or if you didn't feel you need even needed it you still need it your body's not making the oil so you really should supplement we don't have quality products anymore we have a lot of um, lacking of vitamins in our soils even in the sea so that's the omega-3, I take a minimum of two when I'm doing a heavy training session which could be two, two sessions a day then I'm upping that to three and a maximum of four for myself. I then recommend people to take the glucosamine which is the blue which, which has the sharp cartilage in it and the turmeric. Now I'm not going to go into all the details of all the ingredients because Joe can go into that, Joe Garcia, and later, and I can go into more detail to people who are interested in, in getting themselves a good supplement program when they meet me in Sweden in December. And the glucosamine will help people's bones to stay strong. So if you find that your bones, sometimes they ache, the joints can ache, or you've been to the doctor and they say, well, there could be, let's say there could be arthritis in the family, or you know yourself you're doing heavy digging or heavy jumping or something a repetitive exercise which can wear and tear 
in your bones and joints. The glucosamine is an excellent sub sub substance to, especially with the oil, between the, the oil, the strengthening from the sharp cartilage into the joint and the oiling, we have a great combination there. And again, it's recommended one a day and I take two. I don't have any trouble and I don't want to have any trouble, so I take two and it's been working for me for many years and I still have no joint or bone aches. The Stem Renew is the third product that I take in combination with the Omega-3 and the Glucosamine. And the Stem Renew has a combination of all and again anybody who wants more details I will be very happy to help uh, give them a, um, a detailed account of what they need because it's always individual but you take one Stem Renew a day, two Glucosamine and two Omega. That would be my recommendations. <clears throat> okay, that's that's fantastic. I know uh, there's plenty of us out there taking Stem Renew for lots of different reasons. So, Stem Renew is one of the the big big um, products that we're getting lots of results from in lots of different areas. And I know you've got more experience probably with the Stem Renew than most of us because you you you've you've been actually on that product. Um, since before NHT Global even got involved in it. So I know you're quite a big fan of the STEM Renew. I am, I am, because you see, I did have the product, but when I found NHT, it was, it was a better quality and the standards are very high, you know, using organic and, uh, you know, the egg, the eggs, uh, the egg al albium, and, and where, they, where they source their products is very important because, you know, nowadays, if, if the source isn't correct, we have a, a very poor quality and we have excellent quality with NHT. Uh, you know, you've got shark cartilage in it, you've got your aloe vera, the green tea, the egg albium, and that was something that I always investigate and I trial myself before I talk about it. So I had trialed this for uh, three to six months before I really was very happy with the product because you must, you must try the product out and it can take a minimum of three months before you feel the benefits. And that's the same with anything. If you go on a diet for a week, you know, you don't know if the diet's working. It takes time. And I know I know you're a big fan of the triatine as well. Uh, you were telling me there that you you sometimes take triatine for breakfast and it's great for, for flattening your stomach and doing lots of things. I mean, probably a lot of us don't even appreciate the triatine. Um, but you kind of really opened up my eyes there with the triatine. I know you you take the Restore products from time to time uh, when you need them, especially after training, I think you said. Well, I let me tell you about the triatine because I, I, what I do is I take it for two or three months before a world championship. And I do have a world championship coming up now in six weeks. And I think that when you came down, you caught me taking a lovely cold glass of milk. So you thought, but it actually was... A large scoop of triatine which isn't in your picture it's a large orange container and in it is a wonderful tasting fresh sweet dairy whey and it, it's kind of a concentrated uh, form it's it's dried and it's micro filtered and this helps people if they're looking to look like they're a little stronger looking and to have the perfect balance of vitamins and minerals you know you've got magnesium in it and, and the glute group glutamine and you've got um, calcium which will help unlock your energy you could have all this energy but unless you've got the calcium it's not going to be released so with the help of the triatine you will have more energy especially first thing in the morning because it's it's basically a protein powder which is very high quality without the calories so instead of having a steak or a chicken or eggs for breakfast you can have your protein and get your strength in look stronger, feel stronger, perform stronger with no calories. And let me tell you, people would say that you're on, you must be on a drug. It must be illegal if it's that good. But you must remember, NHT, the first letter is N and everything is natural. So I'm drug tested almost like every other athlete at every international. And none of these products, you know, have come up and will ever show because they're natural. Actually, that was a big question that some people had because you take so many of the products and I know when you're competing all the time, you're constantly tested and uh, obviously one of the questions from people uh, who knew you were coming on this evening was, you know, uh, are these products safe to take? Yeah, they're legal. 
uh, uh, very legal and um, as it, the, the company are very high up on their morals so they're very uh, very much in, uh, involved with natural products and everything in it is very natural they only have picked and put in the key amino acids and, along with vitamin D into that uh, all of the products you know I'm just talking now about the uh, protein because it gives such a good effect your, your stomach looks like it's got a six pack without doing all the sit ups so you know I'm taking it twice a day in the morning time and before bedtime which helps you sleep and while we're talking about that I must tell you about a great product that I take from NHT which you haven't in the picture and it's the silver the silver is a great product which I've had great results with especially with traveling people who are doing a long journey like I do to New Zealand and to um, South Korea it's very hard to adapt and you really need your sleep especially if you're performing or if you're going for a big event and you really need to get sleep the uh, silver restore silver is an excellent product for helping people's muscles to relax and to fall off to sleep uh, for older people that are finding it difficult if they want a natural product like I've tried melatonin I've tried the valerian I think if this people should give the restore silver a try and you take about 9 to 18 drops in a half a glass of water 15 minutes before you want to sleep and you'll find that your whole muscles and nervous system just relaxes and you don't remember even sleeping you you wake up refreshed or or two two kind of droppers it, when you get the silver like if you actually take the the full dropper instead of all individual drops um, that 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 can that can be a or maybe one dropper is, is all you need you can actually try because I don't think you can actually overdose on it um, but if you're using the whole uh, thing to, to that comes with the bottle uh, I think one or two of those um, is enough or else you can probably squeeze it and drop all the drops in as you say Geraldine um, Yes, I like to count every drop you know so if they're doing that way it's 18 or just a full uh, dro dropper if you know what I mean that, that there is something measured for you Yep um, yeah. Okay, we're just. I know we had this conversation, and you, you. I thought this was a very good um, comparison that you made uh, for people, uh, you know, to look after their bodies. Uh, and you were saying about the car. You know, would you put cheap oil or secondhand parts into your precious, precious car or your, your sports car? No, you wouldn't. And you, you kind of explain that very well. You have a good way of putting that. I like to compare people to a car because we all would love a nice. Um, sports car and we'd like to consider our bodies would be a sports car I mean some of us say no I'm quite ha happy being just a comfortable car but my body is like a sports car you know and uh, if, if I went to the garage and I said I, I need I need you to check this car over I need it to be in good condition because I need it to run fast and safe and if the mechanic said to me well you need to get some good quality oil because you have a good car here you know, it's a top class car, it's working well, it needs, it's £56 for this top oil, for this car. I wouldn't question it, I'd say, where will I buy it? Here's the money. And yet, there's times that we as humans uh, would question and we'd say, well, I can buy some cheap oil down at the local shop, and we put cheap oil in. But our bodies are like a car. If, if you want the, a good car to go well, you need to put the good quality oil in and that's why I, can, I like to consider our bodies as a good sports car if that's the type you want and you want it to work well put quality oil in that's why you know with with NHT they have a quality oil so I don't go elsewhere I stick with the, the company who look after me with putting quality into the each each capsule the Omega 369 has a beautiful lemon taste and it's so delicate you can hardly taste it but it's not a fishy taste so uh, like all the all the um, supplements they have they're quite easy to swallow they're not a large capsule there is no added extras that they don't need <laughs> well I think that's a great uh, comparison um, it really is there's just some more pictures of you internationally around uh, the world you must have met so many great friends yeah, I've made some great friendships and um, all these people have become wonderful friends and we've kept in touch for 20 or 30 years you know from Brazil from Canada from uh, I'm looking forward actually to making some new friends from Sweden because I'm hoping to go now 
in December to meet some new friends. So if there's anybody out there that has any questions or would like any help, because I am an exercise specialist, and if you'd like some exercises to do, I'm teaching Pilates and yoga over 35 years. I'd be only too happy to help people, to guide them on their way in life. Uh, the more you give, the more you get. And I love to give. Well, speaking of Canada and Sweden and, you know, somebody who wants to compete against you, I think he fancies his chances there um, against you, Geraldine, is Joe Garcia. And I know that we do have Joe uh, here at the moment. So, uh, Joe, are you there? Uh, yes, I am, Geraldine. I know you want to challenge Geraldine to a few of those events there, so um, I'm going to let you uh, take it over there for a few minutes. Yes. By the way, uh, Geraldine, Sonia, incredible uh, job. Uh, I you. You're definitely, Geraldine, uh, both of you are uh, uh, definitely great inspiration to all of us and great information, Geraldine. Um, I was thinking, you know, my ego part of myself was saying I should challenge Geraldine at one race, and I'm thinking now, no, not a chance. <laughs> well, maybe we'll throw a javelin, and that's a bit like a spear if you don't know what a javelin <laughs> is, and you can't come to too much harm. So yes. we must put together a little uh, javelin competition and have it videoed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got a, I've got a quick question for you. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I um, recognized when I got started here in my career, and, you know, I, I immediately fell in love with my dream. I, it was very clear to me. It became a passion of mine. It became all-encompassing. And wh what happened to me, Geraldine, is, is I, as I started during that process, uh, I found that because I was so focused on what I wanted in life, Every other part of my life went well. You know, it was a, it's an incredible, all the manifestations that I had in several other parts of my life. And I really believe it's because I was so focused on what I wanted in life and so passionate. I fell in love with that dream that, you know, in divine order, everything came along for me. So I wanted to go back when you first got started. And obviously, you're very passionate what you're doing. You have to be to train and to win gold medals and be the most valuable uh, or most improved athletes, uh, master's athlete in the world. That's quite an accomplishment. So you're definitely in that top 1%. So can you tell me, can you share it with everyone, you know, that the process that you went through and, and why you love what you're doing? Well, as you said, you have to be passionate about your dream. And whatever anyone's dream is, you know, when they focus on it and they really want that dream, everything happens around that dream. You're up early and your visualization is, is, is really wide awake. And every day, I, you know, like I have a, a dream this year, I'm going to do three world championships. I don't think anybody else has done it and won it. And every day I'm going to bed eager to get up the next day and being eager and passionate and excited I had a little girl at training. She said, I can't wait to run my next race. I feel so good. And it's having that eagerness to be like a child, you know, to have your dream and not to let anybody take away your dream. It's your dream. And if, if you think it's achievable, then it can be done. And, and my dream was to be world champion. And when it happened, it's actually easy when it happens. It's hard to make the decision. It's just making the decision is the hardest part. In anything in life, whether you have a, a dream to give up smoking, to, to be thinner, to give up drinking, all of these dreams that people say, uh, I'd like that, then just do it. Make a decision, because that is the hardest part in life, making a decision. I must take some supplements. I must. Just do it. Make the decision. And it's all easy. It's all downhill after that. You know, I was uh, reading recently, I saw Michael Phelps, the accomplished uh, gold medal winner, most accomplished swimmer ever, and um, he was sharing, uh, the, the interviewer was asking him, why did you, why did you become the best swimmer of all time? You know, is it something that you wanted it 
uh, from an early age? Is it something that uh, uh, it just came? You came across it? What was that secret? He said, when he was 13, he dreamed of becoming the best swimmer ever, the most gold medal winner ever. And what he decided to do, Geraldine, number one, he said, I fell in love with my dream. The second thing is I when I had an acted, he I decided that I was going, these are his words, I decided I was going to work out three times a day. And every coach that was working with him, all the experts were telling him that he would burn out by the time he was 15. That it's impossible to work out three times a day in the pool and do that those strenuous exercises. And he said that three times a day, because I fell in love with that dream, that allowed me to win by inches in so many races. I was willing to do what most people weren't willing to do because I wanted it more. So you're a classic example, Jeremy, of someone, even at uh, your young age, and you're still going and, and winning champions and using the NHG products, and I, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate the company and the fact that they use only the best people. You know, you've sought out the best doctors, the best scientists, the top people to make this company the what it is. And it's using the top people. And we're like, a, I feel it's like a family. Everybody helps everybody. You know, like Sonia's become a friend. She came over for, for lunch. You know, so I'm, I'm just grateful that I found yeah. such a good quality uh, product with, with such a good um, investment behind it. You know, they're sourcing all the right products from the right places with, with everything right. So I, I'm, I'm grateful to you. So thank well, you. We're going to, this is a perfect segue into. We're going to have a global webinar with you and Sonia on on Saturday with more detail. And that will start at uh, 5 o'clock UK and Ireland time and uh, 6 o'clock in the rest of Europe. So we're looking forward to it. And also another perfect segue is what you were sharing about the top quality ingredients. Well, uh, team, uh, back in 2001 as NHD started, the goals of the original founders were was to create a company that had, um, you know, if you compare it to a luxury car, the Lexuses of the world, the Mercedes, the Maseratis, the BMWs. When you think of luxury cars, you think of the best, and that's what NHT wanted to do. From uh, position them in the pro marketplace, that they're providing the best of the best in the marketplace, from the packaging to the ingredients to the formulators, to the doctors that formulate the product. They wanted to get the best of the best. You know, for example, Stem Renew is a great example of that. You know, the Restore is a great example of that. Going back with uh, Dr. Gucci's original formulation of uh, triatine and the clustered water, you know, these are innovative products. When people open that up from the packaging to the ingredients to the research and development, you you know that you're taking the best and this is what we wanted to position ourselves globally one of the reasons why we've had all this great success over the last uh, 17 years but this is just to start Geraldine and Sonia you're going to see in the next three to five years some of the new technologies that NHT has that will blow everyone away you know uh, you think stem renew was is fantastic you should see what we have on the shelf right now you know, that's in research and development and the cutting edge of nutrition and beauty and herbal products. Uh, so wait to you see some more great products here over the next two to three years. And Sonia, you wanted me to talk about Sweden, correct? Uh, I was just going to re remind everybody about the. I'll just go back to the... Uh, first slide there the date because we as you as everyone knows we have the the first EU convention coming up and um, we want everybody to attend uh, it's it's a great honor to have Geraldine Finnegan our Irish uh, champion as a guest speaker there so it's gonna be uh, even better if we have a lot of Irish supporters there so uh, I was just gonna let you do a little bit of promoting on on the Stockholm event Joe yes well, it takes me back, so I'm going to share everybody a little story. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I got involved in the industry June 23rd, 1993. And uh, a few uh, months prior to that, 
I had bought a franchise and realized within uh, three weeks that I made a huge error in judgment. <laughs> it was everything that I didn't want in life. And I had a defining moment in my life where I came home one afternoon uh, after working about 70 hour, hours that week. And I sat down uh, and wrote down what I wanted my life to look like 10 years from that moment. And as I was reading that paper, I fell in love with my dream right then and there. And it's amazing what happened. A few weeks later, I'm in my local library, and a gentleman walked up to me and introduced me to this industry. And I was invited to a meeting, June 23rd, 1993, where I'm sitting in the back of the room, and Dan Cattle, uh, my business partner today, was speaking. And I knew within a couple of minutes that this was my vehicle to my dreams. I had one of those born-again Christian moments. I went home, looked myself in the mirror, and told myself that this is it. I was never going to think about quitting. You know, I, I talked the business in this part of my life like Geraldine trained every single day because she knew to become the best, she needed to train every single day, not just her muscles, not just as her disciplines, but her mindset. And this is what I started to do. You know, within a year, I had some incredible results. But I can remember September 2000, I'm sorry, 1994, the honeymoon phase was over. And I came home one afternoon, and some things had happened in the business, which created some disappointments. Uh, and I sat there in, in my front yard, and I thought, what do I need to do next? You know, um, and that uh, next week was an event in Florida, Orlando, Florida, by Disney World. I didn't have the money at that time to uh, get down there. And in my mind, I was making excuses why I shouldn't go there. And then something came over me at that moment. I said, Joe, you've got to get to that event. You, This is the career that you want to create. This is the dream that you want to create. This is what you want. you got to do whatever it takes to get down there. So what I did is I called up five guys, five friends in the business, and said, guys, we've got to go down to Florida. No matter what, we've got to do whatever it takes to go down to Florida. So um, uh, they made a commitment. We, we uh, got a van, jumped into a van, drove 21 hours, 22 hours straight, all night long, all day long, to Orlando from Toronto. And uh, we stayed in, uh, us, us five, actually we were six of us, including myself, we rented out a, a hotel, six of us, uh, you know, and uh, most of us had to sleep on the floor. And I, I gotta tell you, Sonia, that was another major defining moment in my life. Because it was easy for me to succumb to my financial challenges or or my my challenges with the business or challenges that I had at home because we were financially tight uh, and there was lots of other reasons why I could have spent the money somewhere else right and I was just becoming a father actually I was a father for a couple of months um, you know Vanessa was born so that was my second child but that was a defining moment you know when I got home that that uh, after that weekend uh, my business went to the next level. Within two years, I was qualifying for the top position, all because I made a decision to go to one event. And I know 100% in all my heart, if I, you know, if I didn't go to that event, I'd probably still make it because of my commitment, because of my willing, my I fell in love with my my dream but it wouldn't have happened as quick. I probably would have gone through so many more challenges along the way. But because I made that decision to go to Florida, jumped in the car, 21 hours, no sleep, we drove all the way down there, six guys, that was the defining moment in my life, in my early business career. And I've never looked back. So this Swedish event, I know a lot of you are thinking, should I go? Uh, it's okay, you know, what ends up happening is, uh, and I can relate it back then in 1994, 
is we start to make decisions based on finances, based on time. We start to make excuses for ourselves. Is this really going to change my life and all these things? And um, what you need to do is, is if you're really serious, if you fall in love with your dream, you're really serious about NHT, you need to write down reasons why you need to be there in Sweden. And you also can write down reasons why you can't go to Sweden. And then start looking at that paper and you see why becomes bigger than why you can't. And when you look at the why, you know, it will make a big difference to you in your future. I know probably in, in previous years, maybe you've been in other companies, you've had uh, bad experiences, or you made decisions. Just start looking at the pieces of the puzzle over the years. When you really have wanted something, and you did whatever it took, like Geraldine's a great example of that, you see the results. And what I'm sharing with you here today is Dan and I are going to be there in December. We've got the um, uh, CFO, CEO of the company going to be there, President Krishan Maya, our VP. Uh, we're going to have several doctors there. It's going to be an incredible event. This is going to be a defining moment in our European uh, marketplace here for NHD Global. And I'm excited about it, uh, Sonia. I'm excited that Geraldine is coming. It's going to be an epic event. And for those of you, again, know me personally, I rather, I, I never hype things up because I believe in reality. And what I'm sharing with you is the truth. In September 1994, my life was altered when I made the decision to go down there. And I recognized what it did for myself, my family, and where I am today. So the decisions we make over the years, don't disregard it. Don't disregard it. These are can be defining moments in your life. Whatever it takes, you know, let's get to Ireland, uh, do whatever it takes. Uh, let's get to Sweden, Stockholm. Let's do whatever it takes, and great things will happen. So, Sonia, I'll pass it back to you. Okay, Joe, and just, just, just talking about events, um, when I got involved with NHT Global first, I probably... I'm a, one of those people who probably didn't really take it seriously. Uh, you know, it was <clears throat> kind of working away there without me really doing a lot. And I was busy involved with my print and design business, which I hate. Um, but, you know, I was doing the business here and there and a few people were involved. And, you know, we weren't really doing a lot until uh, one small event we had here in Ireland where Garth Wright came over from the Czech Republic and he said on stage that there was a big NHD Global event in Istanbul in Turkey and we should go. And, you know, we were sitting there doing exactly what you just said, Joe. Oh, God, you know, we can't afford to do that or why would we do that? Or, you know, um, it was there was a load of reasons why we shouldn't go. And then we decided, hang on, none of us have ever been to Istanbul. Five of us actually decided let's go for the weekend to Istanbul and we'll just pop into the NHT thing, you know, and check it out. And that was a defining moment for us because when we got to Istanbul and we saw the, the size of, of the event and we met all the Russians and the Chinese and we met you, Joe, and Dan and uh, so many people. We met Chris Rang there. We, we, we actually met probably everybody. We met Maya Spindler. Um, before we had even started to build the business, we met a lot of people w within NHT, but it really, really was an eye-opener for us to, to see what a an incredible company NHT Global actually was and, and you know we, we kind of looked at each other and said hey guys I think we should take this seriously they're a serious company you know what are we at so it was going to that event as well that kind of opened our eyes to to the, 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 the opportunity that we had with NHT Global great example that's a great story Our, and you got to sit uh, at the cruise there we were sitting together yeah, well, we felt like VIPs from the minute we arrived. I'm sure all the Chinese and the Russians were saying, who the hell are these? Because we sat at the top of the room because Dolly Burr um, had kept seats for us. And then when we went on the on the cruise ship around the Bay of Istanbul with, for the VIP dinner, we got to sit with you and Dan and the, all the VIPs. And I'm sure they were looking at us saying, who are they? <laughs> um, 
but I have to say it was great to meet them. I mean, I met some of the leaders from Russia and China, and I didn't even know who they were at the time. Now I now I know who they are, but I they were just names to me, and I, I you know I've met them since in Hong Kong, and I was like, wow, you know, when I met you first, didn't even know who you were, and um, but but what an eye opener, and it was it was it is a defining moment to to go to these events um, because you really get the feel for the size of the company, how professional the company are. You know, I know in, in Stockholm uh, we're going to have doctors there, they're going to be talking about the products, they're going to be talking about new products that they're launching um, and you know it's just if you're serious about the business at all go to Stockholm and it is not expensive to fly there. It is so cheap to go from Dublin so I, I, I think you know we all need to be on booking those tickets and booking those yeah. flights. And just see uh, Sonia and she can help you out. Yeah, and, other and, are and we have Geraldine there, you know, our own Irish champion, somebody that, you know, we can be proud of and we can kind of go around for that weekend going, hey, we're Irish, she's with us. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, it's a good opportunity for people to come along and meet people and really ask in detail because, you know, these webinars are only touching on subjects and there's some people out there that may have, you know, a real serious health problem and we can help them and we can direct them and we can give them advice between the doctors and the scientists and the exercise specialists and if, if there's somebody out there that wants to come and have a bit more time you know we have a couple of days and I'm sure we could find 15 or 20 minutes just to direct people and so even if it's to come personally to speak to a couple of us in detail and not just the business they can come and try some of the products out taste some of the triatine perhaps and uh, the, the, the products really are the most important for people to come meet the formulators and, and give it get a taste. Uh, we've got some we've got one or two questions here uh, that I'll just run by you. People are typing them in. First of all, we've got a good few people on from Sweden and they are saying you're so welcome to Sweden, Geraldine. So they're really looking forward to you. Um, I've got a question here on saying, do you take stem renew just before you eat breakfast, during or after? As you said, you don't take it on an empty stomach. That's one question. Yes. The most important thing for me is not on an empty stomach because of the acid and it would it sometimes cause a problem. So I take it with my breakfast. So definitely I would have something in my stomach. So if I was eating, for example, scrambled egg, I would take half of the scrambled egg and my tablets would be sitting there and I would take it and then I would continue or I can take it sometimes directly after so my stomach is full and then I take because it's not good to have too much water with with your meals so you can take it 10 minutes after you've had breakfast with with a drink of water okay yeah, so just to interfere uh, uh, interrupt for a second Sonia Geraldine yes just so everyone understand there's no wrong way to take stem renew <laughs> you just have to uh, watch what's happening in your body, feel what's happening in your body. Um, some people experience better results when they take it in the evening. Um, some people, when they take it in the evening, it helps because the energy it gives them. They have a hard time sleeping sometimes. So it's, it's always best to take it in the morning if you're more of an energetic person. But again, there is no wrong way to take STEM Renew. But uh, those are good points though, Geraldine. Yeah, and that was good because the good thing there is the green tea for people. Sometimes they just need a little boost if they want to lose weight, for example. So in the morning time, they give them that boost with the green tea to um, maybe go for a walk, a 40-minute walk, after an hour after they've taken it. So, yeah, you could take it at night if you're, if you're actually in bed and you're asleep when the energy is actually hitting them. Yeah. So I always like taking the product just before I work out because it helps me rebound very quickly, um, uh, makes me feel good, better. You know, the, the product is called Stem Renew and it's renewing the cell. So another good time is to take it is directly after training because um, I take my second batch when I'm training twice a day is after training, immediately after so that the, the, the cells that you've just broken down can renew instantly. Yes. You know, uh, Sonia, we have a gentleman on the line here. This is not um, this is not uh, uh, set up here, but 
we have Frank, who has an incredible story regarding the um, Stemmer. I'd, I'd love for him to share what's had happened. What's happened to him? It's a little yeah, that would be amazing. So I'll unmute him again. Uh, let's see if he's able to talk. Hey, Frank, can you hear us? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I know we not, didn't set this up. Can you share with everybody? Because we have a lot of new people on here. Can yeah. you share with everybody your story? Yeah, um, I I was in a um, serious car accident. 22 years ago, I got PTSD, I had um, whiplash, I had a brain damage, and um, I have been living for 22 years with uh, suicide thoughts and uh, depressions. And then uh, Kai from Sweden, a dear friend, he called me and said, listen to this, and I was... Um, I wasn't up to anything, so I just listened and then, okay, I can try the product. I'm not interested in any business. And uh, after five days, my depressions, my suicide thoughts, they were gone. I've now taken the product for around half a year, and uh, my bad knees, they function without pain. My bad shoulders, same thing. My allergies with cats and birch trees, it's gone. My sugar levels, I'm a diabetic, is uh, very much improved. I rarely use my insulin anymore. My mm, blood pressure, I didn't mention that in my testimony, is uh, like a young man, uh, 59 in pulse, 80, 84 over 139, I think. And uh, those things I've been struggling with uh, for many years, and it's uh, it's really it's really been changing my life from a living hell to a, a very good life. Wow! Oh, very nice. Wow, well, that's amazing. And Frank, uh, share with everybody what you've done in the business. What? Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm trying the best I can. I'm not. Uh, I'm, I don't see myself as a good networker, but I try every day to do something. We have a bed and breakfast. We get a lot of guests, and when I see uh, people with problems, I I tell them about my own situation. And it, uh, it, I, I did sign up some of them, but uh, people that don't know me, they're not that confident that that it's true. So that's a little difficult. But I I uh, I have. Um, on the personal, uh, I, I've, I've signed up 60 persons, um, first line, and um, I've got some good people, but uh, yeah, it's a busy life, so sometimes they, they don't get to do what they need to do either, but uh, I'm, I'm satisfied. And you've reached the third rank, correct? No, I don't know the second. Second one, okay. But you're going yeah. on, on now to the third. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> it, it's a little slow right now, uh, but uh, it, it, it's. Uh, I, I think it's like waves. You have uh, high points and low points, and it, it's. That's what I experience. Sometimes it's. It really. I, I some suddenly the phone calls and some, someone that I sold one glass. Uh, uh, buys six uh, packages of of, of our. Uh, five, five for four. Uh, so, yeah, suddenly something happens, and then other times it's a, it's a bit slow. But uh, I'm trying every day. Great. Well, the products change your life, Frank. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Uh, can I ask? Is he coming to Sweden? It, will we get a chance to meet this man? Yes. That's oh, wonderful. I look forward to meeting you. It's a great, yes. great result yes. for you. Yeah, same, same here. It all, it almost feels like you've got an Olympic gold medal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really got a new life, uh, no, yeah, no doubt about it. And and all the people around me that really knows me, they, uh, they, 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 they know that's that's the truth. And some people that I didn't see for a few years, when I meet them, they say, "Wow, what happened?" So, uh, and then I tell them, of course. <laughs> Well, think about it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the power that we have in our hands. You know, Kaya reached out to 
his good friend Frank, who literally changed his life. How many people do we know within our family circle, our friends circle, our extended friendships, that we can change their lives just by picking up the phone and introducing them to this great technology? It's almost like we, uh, Frank, um, you know, Kaya could have easily not called you, you know. Yeah. But he decided to call you and change your life. So all it takes is one phone call, and how many people' lives will be changed from there? Uh, uh, Dr. Chris and Tina just came back from uh, a China road tour. They were over there for four weeks. And I, I've shared the story a few times, but a year ago, uh, they were approached by um, a lady in her late 20s, had two young children, and her uh, two kidneys were shot. Uh, they were le working less than 10 percent. So she had to travel to the U.S. and Canada for some expertise uh, help, and neither doctors in North America could could help her with um, with her kidneys. Even a kidney transplant, she was not even a candidate for it. So she, the reason why she uh, had her kidneys in that kind of state was her parents fed her since she was seven vitamins that were toxic and actually killed her her kidneys. So Dr. Chris and Tina had suggested, so she went to a seminar a year ago when they were there. She got on the product along with Omega. And a year later, at that same event, a year later, almost a year later, uh, she shared with the whole crowd that her kidneys are now, both of them, working 100%. And the doctors are calling her the miracle child. So that was an incredible, this shows you what a product can do, uh, helping the body heal itself, because the, the, the body has incredible healing powers. So, and Frank, you're a great testament to that. Yeah, thank you. I just, I, I, I have a list. Uh, I, I, I forgot a lot of things. And one, one of the things I forgot was that my prostate problems are totally gone also. And I know that's a problem that very many men have. So um, it, work, it works on that too. Awesome. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, we get, so many, we get so many testimonials here all the time from people we know, and it's always great when it's from people you know, because you can hear stories about STEM Renew and some of the other products. But until somebody actually comes back and says, hey, you know, my bones are healed in two weeks when the doctor said it was going to take six, or people who've had rheumatism and arthritis and couldn't move their joints are now up out walking and back on the golf course again. And these are personal testimonials we've had here in Ireland from people. And I know uh, there's so many more, you know, we could talk about this product all night because it's an incredible product. Um, and it has changed so many lives. Um, so I just, <laughs> there's not enough we could say about it, and I'm sure we could have another hundred people on here giving testimonials if, if we if we did a, a webinar on STEM Renew only, because it is it is just such an incredible product. Um, there is one more question here, just uh, you were talking about Omega uh, there, Geraldine, and there's a question here saying, how do you know which Omegas to use and which ones to avoid? It's from Enya. Ah, um. Well, and and I think and is is this um is this any on our parents that are listening from Poland? Can we can we open that up? Can we hear them? Uh, let me just see. And yeah, there's quite a lot of people here. Well, for Anya, she needs to take one a day because if it's for Anya, she's jumping a lot, long jump and 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 sprinting, and Anya um, Shilkina. Yes. Okay, that's great to hear, Anya. Yeah, Anya's a, a young athlete under, uh, around the age of 10, but she's training uh, quite hard. She's an All-Ireland champion at uh, Javelin and Long Jump, even though she's only 10. So we, we have the hopeful Olymp Olympian here, and it's never too young to start your Omegas. And you're very lucky because the company has already put the balance of the correct amount in the capsules. And because she doesn't have any joint pain to start with, uh, she could start with just one a day, and one uh, packet of um, the, the capsules uh, comes in, uh, I think it's six, 60 or 90 capsules 
in one container. Joe, how many is in the Omega? 60, I think. 60, no, 30. 60. Oh, sorry, wait now. I'm actually looking at the box here right now. If there's 60 in the bottle. 60, yeah, 60. So one, one uh, we'll say container would do her two months because she doesn't have a problem. And if she wants to continue doing, for example, bounding and um, a long jump and continue with her future, it's a great investment for her parents to take uh, one capsule a, a day. And that would, um, that would do her um, two months. Great question from a young, a young child and the parents must be listening uh, and they're looking after her health by, by starting her young and it, does no, it is no danger because it's a natural product and your body doesn't make this oil. Just like the car, you must put the oil in. I mean, you can take water and it's free but we must buy this quality oil. So um, one capsule and it's already mixed perfectly, the omega-3 and 6. Isn't that correct, Joe? Yes. Is there okay. Question? There's, um, other, there's yeah. other questions coming in here. Just they're asking: Is Stemrenew safe to take with for people who've had tumors or cancer or you know other ailments? Um, I know we've I, had. Um, myself, because you know I, I've had cancer scares and I'm I'm at physios all the time because I'm I'm intensely training six hours a day and at over fifty years of age, you know, uh, the medication a doctor gives you, you must continue. But this adds to it, it doesn't affect it because it's a natural thing. It's just like having your dinner, except in, instead of having your, your protein, your, your fish or your meat, you have it in, a, in a, dried, a, a dried form. So you must continue what your doctors and specialists are giving you, but this can only benefit because you're, you're taking it with no calories. You're taking the best quality oil. So this will help. That Fantastic. Um, I don't see any or I don't see any more hands up or questions or and I know we've kept you on long enough, Geraldine. So, um, just want to say uh, I know you're going to the World Champions in six weeks' time, and it's the Ultra Multi Event. How do you pronounce that? It's in Belgium. What did you tell me it was called? Oh, it's an isotatsla. Nobody will have heard of this. It's, uh, it's to say that again. <laughs> Let me make it easy for you. It's two heptathlons. In, so it's 14 events in two days. It's an ultra multi event. A multi event is usually five events, pentathlon, heptathlon is seven events, decathlon is 10 events, and I'm doing 14 events, isotathlon. And it's in Belgium and it's in six weeks' time. So as you can imagine, I'm training quite hard, and I can tell you the products are working great. I had bad knees from, from landing crooked in, in the pit, and I've been to all these specialist to help me. I doubled up on the tablets, I, I doubled up on my STEM Renew and um, in 10 days I have no knee pain and I'm back to training twice a day. So from an athletic point of view it's, it's wonderful but for those people who are not running which is maybe 50 or 60 percent of people don't wait until the injuries and the aches and pain come. As Nike would say just do it. Invest in the product get a good quality. Your car is not just a, a mini. Consider your body, body like a sports car. Buy the best quality. Invest in yourself and, and get a good quality oil and a good quality uh, glucosamine. Get your protein in. Um, I have that Noni drink uh, in the morning time which helps you know the whole fruit. Your, 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 it's alkaline, not acidic. So I, I'll give a whole combination of my, my diet supplements when I, when I come to Sweden if anybody would like to spend time writing out and I'll spend a couple of minutes with people because it's all quite individual just like little Enya, well, how many should she take? Just one a day. That's really fantastic so I do think guys that's a great opportunity to, to, to get a one to one with Geraldine Finnegan, I mean you'd nearly go to Stockholm for that on its own. Um, but listen, Geraldine, we'd like you to wish you the best of luck in this world champion. I know you're going for a third medal, and I know nobody has ever won three uh, world's medals in, in a year. So that yeah. would be a, another world record for you if you get this. That's the record in itself. I mean, I'm, I'm chuffed this year winning that um, uh, the best Masters athlete in the world, the most improved one. But uh, this, this would be a personal achievement for me to win three world titles in one year. 
So um, keep keep your eyes on this spot. We may be back to interview me afterwards. <laughs> well, we'll certainly look forward to it. Um, listen, guys, we'll I think we'll wrap up here. Um, uh, we've gone on for over an hour, and uh, once again, I'd like to thank you so much, Geraldine, for for coming on and giving us all that time. Uh, thank you very much, Joe Garcia. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Uh, I'll be looking forward to whatever you're going to challenge Geraldine in. We all will. We'll be watching. You'll have a big audience there. Um, <laughs> and as Joe said, uh, we're going to do this webinar on Saturday, this Saturday coming at 5 p.m. Um, it's going to be on the worldwide webinar, so we'll be talking to people all around the world, not just uh, here in Europe. So yeah, uh, let them um, be ready. Ha have them ready, and then maybe we could open up and we we'll have a few more. Because that was a great question from such a young girl, you know. Uh, maybe a few more questions. So if they're if they're ready to come and join me again on Saturday with a couple of new, more in detail questions, I, I'd love to help. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. So um, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks again, Joe. Are you still there? Are you gone? I'm still here. Thank oh, you're you. still there. Okay. 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 Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you again on Saturday. Ciao. Adios. Bye. Bye-bye.